what's going on guys this is jason back here again doing another unboxing it's a unexpected unboxing that i really did not expect to do in the same day as i just did my previous one that i just uploaded but this is for the movie joker it just came out it's a target exclusive i believe all it has is this special packaging or limited edition packaging i have not seen the movie so i cannot give my review on it or anything like that but um I know he just recently won an award from the Boston, not the Boston, the Golden Globes. But here it is. We have the exclusive packaging of the Joker. I believe all it is, though, is like the outer slip cover. Mine's got a nice little dent there, of course. Whatever. Oh, it's the case, too. Everywhere else is different packaging and stuff. I know Best Buy had an exclusive still book. Walmart and stuff, I'm not too sure what they have. But yeah, I can't even say his name. Joel Quinn, Joel Quinn. Uh, he won, I forget what the award was. I don't 100% always pay attention to that stuff. I try not to get too much into pop culture anymore. So he did win an award. I forget exactly what it is. It just slipped my mind. Um... I can't really say much about how I think about it. All I know is it's the origins of the Joker. It doesn't really have much to do with the whole DC Universe situation. It's just this whole separate thing. But now they are actually talking about doing a sequel. And I don't know if maybe they'll somehow connect it with the whole Batman situation. Maybe. I mean, besides Heath Ledger, this is probably the most recent best Joker they've done. I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen the movie, but from just the trailer, he looks... Like, he did a fantastic job. And I know there's a bunch of theories going around that he might not even be the Joker. He might have just been somebody who inspired somebody to be the Joker. I have heard some stuff about the movie. I guess there's a scene with, like, a little boy or something I, that could have been inspired by this guy. Because if you really think about it, that timeline, I guess what I've been told anyways, I don't know 100%, is that... In this movie, if this guy was the Joker, and of course Batman's a little boy in this movie. I guess that's a spoiler, even though I, I was already told about it. But most of have already seen it, but I guess Batman is a little boy in this movie. So, if, you know, fast forward to when Batman's older, this guy would be a really, really old. So, that's why there's those theories floating around. I'm not 100% sure. I just know this. the trailer looked great. I'm intrigued to finally watch it. I just wanted to do this video to show you the exclusive from Target, the special packaging, and yeah, I'm, that's pretty much it. This is just a unexpected unboxing I'm doing for you guys, just so you can see the exclusive. Best Buy, like I said, has the exclusive still book. I don't know if anywhere else has an exclusive for this movie. I've heard great things. Looking forward to it. Bonus footage, bonus footage, bonus footage. I forgot I had another package on the floor next to me. I totally forgot it was there. I believe this is... I'm going to take a guess. I recently ordered Monkey Shines on Blu-ray. It's from uh, Shout Factory. And I know they had like a recent list of movies that just recently became out of print. And they're going to be really hard to find if... As soon as they sell out of what they have. I actually ordered this from Bull Moose. Again, I mentioned this store in another uh, one of my previous unboxings. And yeah, it is. I was able to get a brand new copy, not even used. I'm not sure what it's going for online now. But last I checked, it was going for maybe 30 bucks or so. I paid 20 for this. Used, it can go for like the same price. I don't know. I just know this is one of the recent out-of-print Blu-rays now from Shout Factory, Scream Factory. I, mean, I just totally forgot I had this package sitting here right next to me, so this is bonus footage for you guys. Yeah, I have not actually seen this movie. I just always seen it in store, saw the cover, and I was like, you know, this looks pretty cool. I've seen the trailer. It's decent. Basically, it's about... Let's see, I'll just read the synopsis. Alan Mann is a bitter, angry, and vengeful man ever since an accident left him paralyzed from the neck down. He's fed up with himself and everyone around him. All that changes when he's given Ella a monkey trained to meet his every need. But when Ella begins anticipating Alan's thoughts, strange and deadly things start happening. 
and as she stalks and wreaks havoc on Alan's fair weather girlfriend, incompetent, incompetent, I can't even say that word, doctor and meddling mother, Alan realizes he needs, he must stop the cunning, maniacal creature before she fully takes over his mind. Kate McNeil, Joyce Van Patten, Stephen Root, John Pankow, and Stanley Tucci also star in this riveting thriller from George A. Romero. Special features include auto, audio commentary with writer-director George A. Romero, An Experiment in Fear, The Making of Monkey Shines, All New Retrospective with George A. Romero, and some of the stars from the movie, Special Makeup Effects by creator Tom Savini, Special Makeup Effects Assistance, Alternate Ending, Deleted Scenes, Behind the Scenes Footage, Theatrical Trailer, but I can't give my review. Like I said, I have not seen this. I haven't even seen The Joker. But this is going to be a quick one. Thanks for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up. If you like other unboxings and video games, movies, Pokemon Go, this is the channel to be. So please like, follow, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.